that's good for the game because we have a lot of ships and I, and I really want people to have a ship that fits how they like to fly and what their personality is. That was for you, Nubifier. <laughs> for all of you, but. I always appreciate a good shout out. Thanks very much, that made my day, sir. Hello, YouTubers, this is the Nubifier. Today we got Reverse the Verse with Chris Roberts. Here's what you need to know in two minutes and 53 seconds. Chris said he's not happy with the current space combat. He said he's working on some kind of a skunk work project. The current flight model has a lot of thruster power. Ships are extremely nimble. Chris made specific reference to the TV show The Expanse as a more realistic simulation with more consequences. He said that dogfighting would work with proper physics in the future, and that ships will probably drift a lot more in the future as well. He also said that we're going to need to micromanage our power systems to get the most out of our ships. And this is a big one. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the first time he's fully confirmed that the old IFCS is being replaced which is something the community figured might be coming now that John Pritchett had left. This is big news. So with that, we're looking at a much wider set of variables, not just six degrees of freedom with thrust and mass. The news is a little bit bittersweet for me. I have a lot of respect for John and I love IFCS. His vision of IFCS is actually what got me interested in Star Citizen to begin with. I hope the changes are good for the community and for the game. With the changes, it sounds like it's gonna be quite difficult to find a single meta. It sounds like we might be able to find many different metas depending on more factors other than just DPS or maneuverability. The newer version of IFCS was confirmed to seamlessly account for wind and drag in atmosphere. I won't be able to say this. Plane-shaped ships are going to benefit from flying in atmosphere, and brick-shaped ships are going to need to rely on VTOL thrusters. The plan for the Quarter 3 release is that we should see 3.3 PTU during CitizenCon. This is also why ATV's been reduced compared to what we're used to. The focus is on making CitizenCon a good show and ensuring the release is as good as possible. 3.3 might come with the ability to rent and purchase ships in-universe, but this is dependent on other features. The original UEC cap was removed and it's not expected to be an issue. Most other MMOs have this system and it doesn't hurt them, Chris is sure that this will be fine. Chris said that the feature that he's most excited about is object container streaming which is going to let the developers push the size of the universe. 100% of the legacy code needs to migrate over to this system for progress to be made. Immediately after that, Chris is focused on a phase batch model. This will link and render everything at once, calculated once, and then updated. This is going to work with server meshing and push beyond a 200 player cap. Chris has confirmed that he wants 3.4 live before the holidays so we can play test its features. A simple water model is coming with Hurston, which is expected in 3.3. Other more elaborate systems such as swimming, watercraft, and buoyancy are planned. The roadmap is going to continue to feature a full year or four quarters. And then we ended on a lightning round. Yes to Squadron 42 roadmap, but not soon. Hold on Vulcan support, and players are going to be incentivized to change into normal clothes. There you go. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.